And now, let's welcome back Bill Olet. Bill, come on now. Great to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome back. You have any trouble getting in this morning? Yeah, no, I had to shovel. It's nice to see the first real snow, but man, you, you got to take the shovel out and do it. Yeah, but we don't make excuses. There are two types of people in the world. There are people who make excuses and don't get the job done, and then there are entrepreneurs. Indeed, indeed. So, as entrepreneurs, let's think about setting your pricing framework. This is the step we're at today. And I just want to ask you this question. You know, by this time in the process, our student has understood the competition and in that process understood the pricing set by, by the competition. Our student also understood the value proposition in a quantified way. So isn't setting your pricing as simple as either undercutting your competition on cost, set a lower price, or saying, all right, well, we deliver X dollars of value to the customer, so let's just charge slightly less on that. Is there anything more to it? Yeah, I, can, I can completely understand and empathize with that because that, that was how I thought about it the first time through. But I'm here to tell you, after having done it multiple times and worked with literally hundreds of companies, that's not the right way to do it. And what we're going to do today is talk about pricing. You know, how important is it? How should you approach it? You know, what are the first steps? And then what, what do you need to know longer term as you evolve your pricing strategy? Well, how important is pricing in this overall process? So it's going to sound a little strange, but pricing is incredibly important to a business. You know, studies have shown that just changing your price by 1%, changing your price by 1%, that doesn't mean, you know, getting the... The price from uh, one, you know, hundred dollars to one hundred and one dollars will increase your profitability by over ten percent. Wow! And that's not so, nothing. No, that's very, very significant. Yeah. And you, you said, how could there be that much difference? It was just one percent of the top line pricing, right. yet it became ten percent because all your costs are the same otherwise, and so all you know, all that extra pricing falls right down through to your profits. So. Um, Getting your pricing right is, is a very important thing when you're a mature company. Now, on the other hand, as a startup, you as entrepreneurs, you got to understand you're not going to get your pricing right right out of the chute. And, and entrepreneurs spend way too much time trying to get their pricing exactly correct in this. And what, what I want to tell you is just get it in the right neighborhood, <laughs> and then we'll fix it over time. And there's no way to know what it will be right off the bat because we don't have enough information. Yeah. Now, other, other areas, we do iterate. We, we have the spiraling innovation. We start with a persona. We make it better and better over time. But that's because we can do primary market research to find this out. The issue with pricing is you can't ask people what price they want. You yeah. have to put it in the marketplace, and you have to have the product. You have to see how they react and test it. By the way, why not? I understand intuitively. but. Why don't you recommend that our students go to their prospective customers and ask, well, what kind of price do you want me to charge? Yeah, so we, we have a great pricing class here at MIT taught by a tenured faculty member, Catherine Tucker. And, you know, when you ask people their price, there's gaming going on there. You just have to test their behavior and see how they behave. So what they say and what they do can be two different things. That's absolutely right. And... Uh, I love what, how Dharmesh Shaw, founder of HubSpot, one of our former students, said, you know, you've got to beta test your product, but at the same time, you have to beta test their wallet to see how they respond in the wallet. So that's what we're going to do. And, and you know, all we do in this here is, is, is get a price that's close enough yeah. in a range, and then we're going to move forward to the market. We're not going to get held up here. And we're going to move forward, and then we'll test it in the market. We'll do what's called A-B testing. Yeah. Test one price and another and see how the customer responds. Then test another price and another price and see how they respond. And that way you'll get closer to it. So, but that being said, you know, it's critical at this stage understanding how do you set the original range for it, and then how do you think about pricing going forward. So tell me if this is the right message to the entrepreneur, but be prepared to make mistakes. You will invariably but we'll give you a framework to actually be able to learn from the mistakes you're making. That's absolutely correct. 